It gives me great pleasure to now introduce baccalaureate degree candidate Hannah Anderson. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah is a liberal arts and studies major with a concentration in psychology. She earned an associate degree in history from Dean two years ago. Hannah has been recognized for her leadership and contributions to the campus community. She was a member of the women's basketball team, was a community advisor, the football team manager, and president of the Student Activities Committee. Her future plans include earning a master's degree in higher education and working at a college. Please welcome Hannah Anderson. Good morning. <laughs> Four years ago, I began my journey at Dean College, terrified for my first college course, public speaking. <laughs> so when I was nominated to speak at graduation, I figured I might as well end college the same way that I began, terrified to speak in front of people. <laughs> we all came to college with a purpose. Maybe it was not the same purpose, but for each of us, we chose to be at Dean for a reason. We all had the intention of accomplishing something by being here. My intentions were to play basketball and graduate with my associate degree in history and transfer to another institution to become a history teacher. However, as you can see, that plan changed. I fell in love with Dean, with all the activities I was involved in, with the friends I made, and with the faculty and staff. I'm sure that during your time here, your purpose may have changed too. You may have found your passion somewhere that you did not know existed as I did. I now know from all my involvement at Dean that I want to work at a college. Following your passion may be one of the easiest or most difficult parts of life. Your passion is what makes you happiest, and you will find a way to make it work and be successful. When you pursue your passion as a career, work will not seem like a job to you. Do not let anyone ever tell you that you cannot pursue your passion. Take advantage of all the skills that you have gained while here and make your own personal dreams become a reality. Two days from now, you may not rem remember a word that I've said, but you will remember who is beside you throughout your journey at Dean and life. Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. You may not remember all that you heard while at college, but you will remember Miss Tina, Michelle, Marilyn, and Deb in the calf asking how your day's going. For the athletes, you'll remember the massive amount of candy you would get from Miss Jeannie and the hours you spent at practice with their teammates who became family. For the performers, you will remember the hours of rehearsal for productions and the emotions running through your body during a show. You may not remember all of the information that your professor shared with you. Hopefully you remember some. <laughs> but you will remember that one professor who pushed you to produce work that they knew you were capable of. You will not remember what you did every Friday night, but you will know who you spent them with. <laughs> you will remember who is by your side at the rough points. The words that they have said to you along the way may not stick in your head, but you know exactly who is there. When you walk across the stage to receive your diploma, remember all of the people that have helped you to get to this point and remember to thank them. Thank those who take, helped you take out the loans to attend Dean. Thank those who gave your scholarships. Thank the professors that share their knowledge with you. Thank the advisor who somehow kept track of what classes you need to graduate, no matter how many times you changed your major. <laughs> Thank the friends and family who were there with you on your best days and your worst. Thank the alumni who continue to support Dean. Thank your mentor. Thank your dog. Thank whomever you want to, but just remember to do it. This has been a year of questions from ourselves, our faculty and staff, but mostly from our families. What are you going to do after you graduate? Are you going to grad school? Do you have a job yet? What can you even do with a liberal arts degree? A dance degree? A theater degree? <laughs> Are you going to class? Have you learned anything? Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? <laughs> For associate degree students, I'm sure you're asked, where are you going to school next? Or are you staying at Dean? As students, we have also asked ourselves many questions. What kind of job do I want? What will make me happy? Can I move home after graduation? If I'm 21, is it okay to go to the bar before class, or should I wait until after? <laughs> Sh 
Should I start this paper early or just get it done three hours before it's due? And the list goes on. <laughs> Some of the questions I've asked myself this year are from a conversation that I had with a professor when I was positive that the world was ending and I would never be successful, a feeling that I'm sure most of us have felt at some point. She asked me, when you graduate, will you have a roof over your head? Will you have food to eat? Will you have gained the skills necessary to get a job, even if it is not where you ultimately would like to work at first? Lastly, she asked if I had people who loved me. I was able to answer yes to all of her questions. She then said, well, my dear, I do not know what you are so worried about because you already have it pretty well. Believe me when I say everything will be all right. These are the questions that we all need to ask ourselves and be thankful if we're able to answer yes to all of them or even some of them. When I look back at my time here at Dean, I could not be happier with my decision to attend Dean and stay at Dean. I spent the past four years earning more than just my associate and bachelor's degrees. I've learned who I am and what I have the ability to accomplish, which in my eyes, as I hope it is in all of yours, is an endless list. Dean has provided me with the skills and knowledge necessary to do anything that I set my mind to. I know that there are future Broadway stars sitting here. I know that there are future CEOs, teachers, doctors, coaches, dance company members, counselors, business owners, athletes, stage managers, Maggie Jones, and <laughs> who knows, maybe even a future president. The possibilities for each graduate are endless. And if I've learned anything during my time here, is that I'm truly capable of setting my mind to accomplish anything that I want to. If I did not believe that, I would not be standing up here giving this speech. Being a bulldog means never getting up, never settling, and never rolling over. That is what I have learned, and I will always be a proud bulldog as I hope all of you are. Each of you would not be sitting here if you had given up and settled. You are now receiving your degree because you pushed through all those stressful assignments, classes, rehearsals, practices, and finals. You did this. You accomplished this. You are a college graduate, and you should be proud. I am proud to have earned two degrees from this institution, to be a member of the Dean College community, and to be able to speak to this audience. Congratulations to the class of 2014.